So welcome, uh, Michael Todd, Professor Michael Todd. Uh, we are very happy that we can talk to you here just before the uh, final conference of the cost action T1402 on quantifying the value of structural health monitoring. Um, maybe as start, can you uh, outline your uh, activities and action and how you somehow came uh, into this action? Yes, uh, I appreciate the opportunity to uh, to share with you uh, my interactions with you. Uh, I suppose uh, my, my main action has been uh, deliberately collaborative over the last two years through knowing you, Sebastian, uh, through we've met through the uh, Structural Health Monitoring uh, Conference Network. Uh, and as a consequence, I was able to attend your uh, Cost Action Summer Workshop or Academy this past summer in 2018 and, and deliver uh, a lecture on uh, how my research area in in linking structural health monitoring to decision costs and uh, uh, in a framework of Bayesian uh, uh, inference uh, uh, was related to some of the main themes of your cost action. And uh, as a consequence of that, that interaction, uh, we've, we've grown that interaction. So uh, my, our activity has substantially increased, I think, from that that starting point of uh, identifying some common themes in in where that we're working on and that several of the groups on the cost action are working on. Um, so I can certainly talk more about those uh, as asked, but uh, that's that so far has been our our primary uh, initial activity. And Mikey, of course, you knew the topic of the action before starting this collaboration. But uh, is there something new that you have learned uh, of the top about the topic or about the structure of the project? Uh, something that maybe you don't have in the United States, uh, uh, and the, we have in the construction. I don't know if there yes. is something. Yes, I, I think what I have learned is just how how sort of rigorously um, and uh, rigorously. Uh, 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 in, a, in a terms of a framework, the action has developed a mechanism for quantifying the value of SHM. I have always thought, and I've even written, that the number one reason why structural health monitoring isn't done broadly in the entire world already, because many of the technical developments that lead to the kinds of decisions we need to make have already been figured out. But the reason it's not been developed is that linking it to the business case and linking it to the operations case of why you'd want to invest and maintain a structural health monitoring network for a given application has never really been addressed. And it's, industry has tried in limited ways in the US and Europe, I'm sure as well, to do this. But this is the first time I've ever seen a concerted academic industry effort to sort out a framework that is broadly applicable, it can be used by anyone and adapted to anyone within this context of decision theory, which is a, a well-known but not so well-known in, in engineering uh, framework for, for uh, making cost-effective decisions. So I've learned a tremendous amount about that particular central aspect and I suspect that if, if this cost action launches into new phases of industry collaboration, that it, it, it really has a good chance of becoming the default adopted framework. Okay, thank you very much for these points. Uh, this is very uh, well aligned also with our uh, thinking and our motivation and intentions uh, when we started. Um, uh, and towards the uh, network, uh, we have quite a, a large network built in, in Europe uh, and we had the chance within this project to spread out a little to, uh, to uh, especially uh, US and we are very happy that you are one of the uh, management committee observers. Um, uh, that did this uh, network uh, we have been building up also um, influence your network. Yes, it, well, it, it has very clearly influenced my network. As, as uh, you well know, we have, we have been able to integrate our common 
our common networks. We put together special sessions uh, with both of you in in a, in the probably what would be considered the world's premier health monitoring conference, truly an international conference. So we uh, we are trying to make this topic a keynote uh, uh, address for this important conference, and I think that by itself will continue to amplify. The, the, the network as people realize what's being done and, and will sort of bring collaborators who are contributing to different aspects of this into the, into the network. Um, so it's certainly influenced my network personally, obviously through working with both of you in different ways and, and, and uh, having the opportunity to have you, Sebastian, visit us for, for a period of time that I think truly influenced some of my students' research work and uh, helped look at how some synergistic ways in science and engineering that we were thinking about the problem are absolutely absolutely very consistent with your framework that you've been developing. And, and I think that's all part of building the network as we realize we're commonly approaching this, the problem. Uh, another point that uh, you partially touched already uh, but maybe uh, you can uh, say something more. What do you think uh, uh, has been or will be the impact of the action for industry and for uh, society as well? And how it can be maybe uh, increased in, in the United States uh, uh, as far as you know? Yeah, that's a that's a good question. So I, I definitely reiterate that I what I what I appreciate about the framework is it's uh, generality and the way it can be adopted or adapted for a particular a particular application and a particular business model that a that a, an industry adopter might have the fr the framework has these capabilities and so that 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 can really influence business uh, if they don't feel like they have to make tremendous change to how they do uh, their business now. To do it to, to to actually assess whether to invest in structural health monitoring if they can just adopt this um, uh, framework fit it to their controls and move on to make those assessments now i i think one of the unfortunate things is that while there are certainly large-scale collaborative efforts that might rival cost actions in america there are none to my knowledge in this area and it would be certainly for the future of cost, it would be uh, it would be very beneficial if there's a way that the EU and the funding sources that uh, uh, support this action could collaborate with American funding sources to come up with a joint program so that we can certainly really tra tap into the full network and, and get American industry to buy into this. I think American industry, one, one slight challenge that it has, very generally speaking, of course, there are always exceptions, but one, one challenge American industry has compared to my, my understanding of many European industries is their shorter time horizon upon which they expect results. Less interested in investing in medium term uh, R&D. So in some sense, this cost action has already done the R&D. And I think American industry could be poised in the next phase to support token projects where, where we, the researchers, help them implement this framework into their business model. We just need the right mechanism between, I don't know if it's EU and American science and engineering funding agencies to, to, to figure out how to talk the right language to, to support Okay, thank you very much for these points. Uh, this uh, answers a large, pa large part of our um, questions uh, already. And uh, of course, we are thinking, uh, especially now, uh, about future ways of uh, continuing uh, this effort, but not just continuing, uh, basically spreading out uh, on different levels and uh, across Europe, US, and also towards the East and the Southeast, China and Australia. So in this sense, uh, we 
thank you very much for the interview. Um, we are extremely happy that you joined this action, that we could talk to you and that we uh, can keep in touch and we will keep in touch. We appreciate that. I, it, it has truly been an influential uh, uh, personal and professional uh, uh, interaction. It's, it's, uh, I, I congratulate you on this action and I look forward to hearing how the final conference uh, turns out and uh, how I can help you uh, contribute to whatever the next phase seems to be for the action. Thank you, Mike.